Okay, so this is certainly not an easy video to create, but I've got this feeling, this impulsion that I have to do it, so I'm gonna try. Um, so, exactly on the 29th of October last year, my little sister passed away. Um, she had an aggressive cancer and um, since the day she's been diagnosed, because that's another story, <laughs> um, the Swiss uh, medical institutions misdiagnosed my little sister and she's been undiagnosed for a bit more than a year. <laughs> and um, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. It's like, it's so unfair thinking that in Switzerland you pay so much for your insurance monthly and it's mandatory and they just don't read properly an x-ray and um, she had already a seven centimeter tumor in the lung and they send her home saying it was nothing just take some uh, paracetamol <laughs> useless people anyway that's not the subject so the purpose of this video is to one Acknowledge the people who are living this kind of situation because we are a lot. Yes, there is a lot of suffering, but there is a lot of growth in this. And you can't live this kind of trauma without growing. I was already doing a lot of personal development, but honestly, it's like it proposed me into level 10. Also, I wanted to share the fact that there is some positive out of this situation. Um, where to start? So, as soon as she's been diagnosed, that was a shit news. But I can tell you, all along, until she passed away, I was sure she was going to heal. I was sure she was, I don't know how, but I was sure she was going to succeed going through this shit. And, uh, and, and yeah, I had this hope until the end. It's crazy. And I think she had to, to be honest, because she's tried to change her diet, everything until the last week. Um, and she's been through a lot of pain, but um, she wanted to be, um, she, she didn't want too much drugs because she wanted to be conscious and she wanted to be like, uh, uh, also she's been through a uh, brain surgery uh, because like one of the metastases went to the brain and she's been so fucking tough around this and she, the night before she called me, she was like, it's, I know it's going to be okay, don't worry. And it's been okay. And then she's been through, um, she, she lost, she, she was able to speak Spanish uh, and French and German and English, but like, and like the, the Spanish language went out of her brain for a while. And then she had to do so many different um, therapies, but she was on it. She was a warrior and she regained almost all of it. Um, before dying so fucking hell she she taught me like bravery and um humility and dignity in like like once i enter um the hospital room and she was on the loo <laughs> and um and then i was talking to her and then a male nurse came in and i was like i wanted to close the door she went oh don't worry about this like like this like she was past this kind of situation. We know she, she's written a, a, a book um, about all this shit here. Uh, we are going to edit this book, but we know she's been mistreated at the hospitals. Uh, we know some horrible things happened to her. And it's just crazy to think this happened in Switzerland. But anyway, I'm telling you this because there is good in any shit happening to you and even in this situation some good happens for us for instance we became much more closer because apparently when you're dying and you know 
like even if you don't know your soul probably knows it's gonna it's gonna be the end so everything around outside of what's important doesn't matter anymore and so family for my sister what's like her family and her boyfriend at the time were like okay you are uh, my strength and so obviously we became much more closer but also i i i saw my little sister because i'm the most spiritual and the most woo woo of this family <laughs> but i know i'm not uh or am i <laughs> i mean i believe in everything coming out from the universe i'm working with the law of attraction i'm having coach to work on attracting money working from within but all of this to say this illness uh, coming out of my sister body proves me i was on the right path and my sister became like me in the end she she passed me she 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 won me she she was much more advanced probably because she was in this state of of losing her body that everything was much more open for her but i, I remember she went to this healer in lyon in france and when she came back, she started to tell me a story, like she went on a walk with this avatar and this happened and this happened. I was just, I was fascinated looking at her and I was like, oh, you are like beyond me now. It's just insane. You're living stuff that in 10 years of personal development never happened to me. And it was so interesting and, um, and also it was beautiful and, and my sister said like, oh my God, if I'm cured one day, I won't be like, all my friends are going to think I, I became crazy because something has clicked within me and I'm a different person. And in her book, she wrote a really beautiful sentence and she wrote, I learned how to live the day I, I knew I was dying or something like that. Um, what else to say? Um, oh, also another thing I wanted to share is I deeply believe that, um, I, I deeply believe in other dimensions and I, my soul knows that she's somewhere. I don't know, but there is something to acknowledge and it's why I'm crying. Whoo! <laughs> I think I needed that, like, to show everyone I'm a fucking whipping woman. Um, what? Oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. I'm crazy. Wait, I'm fucking scattered all over the place. Oh, yeah. So, I believe in, in the universe and I believe in dimensions and I believe in all this shit. So, I know, my soul knows she's somewhere. And actually, my little nephew can talk to her. He's four and a half and he can literally, he can see her, he can talk to her. It's just, it's just absolutely fabulous and I'm so jealous. <laughs> but the thing is, even if I know, and it's really soothing to acknowledge this, it's important to acknowledge the fact that the body and all the cells, rather at once or not, they are grieving and so even if i've got days i'm like okay she's okay i'm okay um i've got this body and those cells and they're like oh and they are grieving a part of them is dead and this is the painful part who make me cry it's becoming ridiculous this video is becoming ridiculous but do you understand what i mean it's and you, we, and we have to accept that and we have to go through the pain. And like in my case, okay, if I talk about her, I'm going to cry. But most of the days I'm grieving on my yoga mat. I'm doing my yoga. It's triggering something and I'm crying five minutes and then I'm okay. And if I'm not crying on my yoga mat, I go for my shower and 
I'm gravy. And then I'm okay. And that's another thing I wanted to share is I'm still happy. Also, something really important to say. Before she was ill and before she passed away, I was saying to people I know that, oh, I have enough of this life. I mean, I'm not in harmony at all with this society. This society is killing my soul. I can't find a way. I mean, I found ways to, to still be happy every day because it's my purpose forever, since ever. But I was saying like, you know what? I think if they want to come and pick me up because I've done my time. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, please, I don't want to be reincarnated and uh, just keep me somewhere else, yeah? Because I understood the fact we come on earth to learn through emotions and suffering and oh my God, come on. But then she passed away. And then I understood, like something clicked inside me. I understood that. Okay. Okay. Because obviously I'm not going to kill myself. I don't think it's the way to go. I, and I, I, I don't think it would be fair for my family. Uh, so I'm not as selfish, but and I, yeah, I'm probably too fucking of a coward. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't focus. So, so it clicked inside me and I was like, okay, okay. So you want me to stay on earth? You wanted my little sister, she was 39, and, and okay, it was time for her to live and to let us in suffering. Okay, fair enough. But now, I want it all. I'm gonna live through wealth, through even more happiness. Money is freedom. So okay, I'm gonna travel. Give me all I need to be able to do this. Like, we've got a deal now. So, like, at the moment, I'm working on, like, like wealth. How to remove all those limited beliefs that I have. And that doesn't allow um, wealth to come to me. Uh, and stuff like that. Or oh, there is another part <laughs> that's, that's, like... When, when you lose someone as close, people, they don't know how to react with you. So, it's really weird. So... Like, for example, when she had just passed away, I had a lot of people asking me, like, oh, I'm really sorry for your sister. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Because, what? yeah, yeah it's fine. It was my answer. No, it's fine. It's fine. Like, what? You don't want to start crying in front of those people you don't even like. And um, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do, just don't talk about it, please. Uh, but then they were like, second question was like, oh, and um, uh, did you have kids? It's like, oh, oh, because she didn't have any kids, so it's not, it's not really, I mean, it would be more, more, more serious if, like, she would have been a mom, I mean, uh, you, it's like, oh, yeah, so it's not so serious, so I shouldn't cry as much, I mean, she, she hasn't any kids, and uh, those questions are so upsetting, uh, oh, was she married? Oh, because it's, oh, yeah, it would be sadder if she had a full husband, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, people are reacting in weird ways. So yeah, it's just like, when it, when this happened to you, um, just like, let it go. <laughs> let it go. So obviously she knew we were going to suffer and she was apologizing for it, which was ridiculous. I mean, come on. Uh, this family kind of situation is really difficult to cope with because we are all grieving in different ways and and it's really sad to see other people of your family being sad. So we all try not to be. And I'm really glad they don't speak English because they are not gonna watch this video. Also, okay. Also, my dad had cancer in the same time. This is a crazy story. So the doctor said that he had a dormant cancer for ages the cancer just stopped but the cat the my sister's cancer woke up his and like recently my dad has been 100 percent cured he finished chemo immuno everything and he's been like declared healed and 
I know on that day he went on my sister's tomb and he said, it's, I wanted to die instead of you. But this is not how it works. And so, yeah, seeing my dad, my mom, I've got another sister uh, who she was pregnant during all this shit. And believe me, it's insane because the baby, she's the, she's smiling all the time. She's just like, she's saving us. Um, so yes, seeing them so sad, it's, it's really difficult. And also a last thing I wanted to say is, I don't think there is a limit for grief and because it's been a year, people think that, oh, she should be over it. Why is she crying? But they think like, oh, it's been like, for example, I, I know people, they lost someone really close 10 years ago and they are still crying. And you can't tell them, oh, get a grip, it's been 10 years. I mean, I think it's going to resonate inside us forever. And even in 35 years, something is going to trigger the griefing process. I don't know how to call it, but and we're going to cry. And it's okay. If there is something I really want um, to be understood out of this video is, even if we are broken hearted, sad and everything, we must be fucking happy we must for them for for us um we must be happy because because we are still living and experimenting in the matter and this yes was an experiment and if we go through this we are gonna learn i'm learning already so much and I'm even appreciating more like everything on earth because I know I'm alive and I'm, I know now because I'm facing this reality, I lost someone as close because before I, I had lost my grandma, my grandfather, uncles, a friend when I was 16. It never broke my heart as this time because it was my little sister. We know now, well, like I've learned, like I can die tonight, tomorrow morning, in two days, in two months, I don't know. So the time I'm here on earth, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be like happy and I'm going to try to get as much money as I can to be able to travel the world, invite my family with me and let's live because life is fucking short. Also, there is something really, really obvious now, but you can't imagine what it is if you never lost someone as close. I thought, especially because I'm an actress, I thought I could like imagine the worst. And like, even during acting, I, I would use some places in my heart and everything, but believe me when I'm telling you, it's the first time I feel my heart broke into pieces. And I would have never imagined. I was talking to people and they were like, oh yeah, I lost my da-da-da, I lost do-do-do. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't even sorry if, I, if, I'm, if I'm genuine with myself because I couldn't, I couldn't relate. And now I can. And it's shit, but it's... Yeah, only people who've experimented this like can really relate. But also, maybe as a last thing, I didn't want to create a video about it really, but I felt this urge, like I had to do it for some reason. Uh, but also now I'm doing it, I went for a picture of my sister because I was like, you know what, this is my way to, to put a mark in the internet of her, that this girl, this beautiful, Lysiane Gobert, uh, she was on earth and uh, she was a fucking beautiful soul. So I love you guys. I send you all my love. I, I would love to generate a community of people that um, relate to this subject. And if it happened to you, please comment below. Please leave a comment and tell me how you feel now and, and maybe give me some advice. Um, do you have, what have you done to go through this shit and, and when did it happen to you and how did you manage and I don't know, just 
let's share some piece of advice to help each other because i really think it's important um also share like i mean you know the drill and uh subscribe please <laughs> i love you guys and uh take care